Hi everyone! I'm Roma. I'm Hannah. Of Common Room. Hello. And today, we have very special um, official vlogger guests. Ah. Official vlogger, <laughs> <kayo na> Hannah, diwa. <laughs> <laughs> we have a special guest for today's episode. We have Hannah of Studio Havy. Yay! Bakit ba tayo nandito ngayon? Because Common Room hopes to be able to ship internationally someday. Dahil nga sabi sa episode ni Hana, I just really encourage na just keep your doors open to international customers. We have Filipinos abroad who might be wanting your own product rin. So, good. And right now, Common Room still ships only locally, nationwide. Hindi pa international dahil nga very daunting <laughs> sa amin ang task na ito, just like any small business, I'm sure. Nararamdaman ko rin yung feeling ninyo na even after Hannah's two episodes, <laughs> feeling namin, <laughs> hindi pa rin namin siya kayang gawin unless we really do it for ourselves. So today, Common Room tries field post with Hannah of Studio Amy! Yay! So today, we have some of the things that we will pack for our fill post challenge for today. And Hannah, ano ang mga initial mong magsasabi sa ating package for today? Ang mga materials na hinanda ng mga hindi marunong mag fill post. First, <laughs> first, 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 yung first worry ko is we're shipping a book, a postcard book. So, una ko inisip, hala, bigot na ito. <laughs> hala, bigot. So, automatically, medyo, we can expect na medyo mas pricey yung shipping fee. Tapos, another is, hindi, hindi tayo super prepared. <laughs> it's our first time, hindi tayo super prepared. Tapos, yun nga, malalaman natin, hala, wala pala tayo mailer. <laughs> wala kaming mailer. Wala tayong mailer. Tapos, na-realize rin namin, hala, wala tayong pang-way. <laughs> hindi natin ma-estimate kung how much yung price ng overall per package. So, for next time purposes, so, dapat may mailer na, dapat estimate yung weight para alam niya kung magkano yung aabot. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Bago pumunta yeah. para, para hindi tayo mo surprise. <laughs> so, ang reason why we are sending these packages is because we have two sukis na gusto na sa, sana nating pasalamatan. And gusto sana namin, medyo special yung package. Kaya sabi ko, sabi ni Hana, bawal mabigat. But I really want to give them a kaleidoscope book from Common Room. Kasi ito na lang yung two last kaleidoscope copies and I want them to have it. And also, since Common Room carries a lot of different items, gusto sana namin i-push kung hanggang saan or gaano kabigat ang kaya nating i-afford na ma-list ma online. Kasi we all know we don't just carry small items, paper products, trinkets. We also carry a lot of heavy goods. I'm sure we won't be putting them on the website in the future for international shipping. But gusto kong i-test kung hanggang saan yung afford namin i-ship. That's why inilagay ko ang Kaleidoscope book for this challenge. So usually what I do is I pack the packages in a way na it's the most compact it can to fit the mailer. So one observation then is we're shipping pins, we're also shipping earrings. So the earrings have backings and this one also has backings. So my goal is always na how do I ship the, this the most flat and compact para pag pinasok ko sa mailer, hindi siya too bulky na hindi siya kakasya. So since wala pa tayo mailer, we'll just go, we're just going to estimate how, how we can pack it na compact. So for now, I put it this way. I'll just put sa likod to para hindi madamage yung design ng postcard. So kapag may stickers ako or pag may stationery, I try to avoid na anything bulky or pointed or anything that has edges touches yung surface nito para hindi mag-indent. So 
So how do you usually package ano ba, locally and you know? Pinahandaan namin to actually kay Laate. And the reason why wala kaming kahit anong mailer is because we usually pack local items using old paper bags. Meron na po kaming mailer bags! <laughs> so ngayon, yung items natin, this is our items, this is our mailers. <laughs> kahit si Tina tawa! <laughs> So this is actually mailer size number three, which is super big. <laughs> which is super big. What I usually use, mga zero or one. Actually, mga if you buy on Shopee or Lazada, may options sila ng sizes. So you ruler na lang ninyo, Maybe this one will fit. Since malaki yung mailer namin, we might try to put extra padding na cardboard just so we can protect the postcard book more. Just be mindful na cardboard and other packaging will add to the weight. So for this purposes, since May Space, we will just try it. Pero yun nga, recommendation, as you try these, weigh them alongside so you can estimate kung ano yung aabutin na cost for shipping. You should do this before you list your products online. Parang try to estimate gano ba ka mahal aabutin yung shipping because you will also have to present this amount to your customers online. I'm on an errand run again. Um, the mailer bags I got was too big. Because I was worried yung isang, yung next size was too small. So, this is the next size. Got the mailers! Sana sakto na to. Ay, sayang ang money! <laughs> so, dapat resign na kami sa fate. <laughs> Nagagamitin namin yung napakalaking bag dahil yun lang ang meron kami kasi hindi ka siya yung maliit but apparently <laughs> we have a box here oh my goodness we'll try two sizes sana magkasya na siya please 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy oh my goodness Ano yung mga biglang hinanda mo for this challenge? So yun nga, we prepared the mailer. So what tos na-realize ko rin, wala rin kayong tracking number. Wala rin kay You're not sure how to write your addresses rin. And yung custom form. So all of that I brought with us here. Yun, yeah. So for this for this challenge, I printed the address labels using thermal printer. Next, we also have the tracking numbers that I got before. We only need two. Thus, I also brought customs declaration. Again, what do we write here? We write what the items are and how much. So what I do is I just do bulk price. Lahat ng materials na hinanda ni Anna. If you're a small business just starting out. Of course, you have to do all of these alone. We just wear it lang kami because we have Hannah, and she also have an advanced tracking number naren, so we have it already. But most likely, you guys won't have it unless you go to your own fill post office and also the custom declarations form, which we, you will also get from the fill post office. Big tracking number here. It feels so legit. Yeah, smaller there to there. The barcode is for them, no? It's for you. Oh, the barcode is for me. Okay, yeah. Let's have it weighed. Yes. Let's go. We'll here. We'll try. 
try here. Ooh, it's happening. Ripple. Registered mail po. Hmm. Ano po? Postcards po. Hindi natin napakita before, Hi. you know? Oh, no! Send ko po. Kasi, hindi ko natin alam ang ano. Kaya lahat ko na video na sa parcel. Sabi ko po yung sa'yo. Sige. Ilang grams po? 450? Okay. Okay, <laughs> pasok pa, pasok. Manding na. Manding na tayo magpasok. 500 grams na go natin below. 1, 3? 1, 3, 5, 3. Okay po. <laughs> okay, ito yung metered stamp. So, ang difference niya, yung postage is by 100, gano'n? May set value yung stamps. Ah, okay. Tapos, they just add it para mabuo yung amount na to. So, kaya so mapupuno, kaya siya mapupuno. Okay. Yeah. Magbabayad na lang ako. Yeah. Part. Tracking numbers. Okay. Pilo tayo. <laughs> Center pipila? Pila. So, dito tayo kukuha ng tracking number. Um, pero meron na si Hannah in advance na nakuha. Kaya hindi na tayo humingi kay Kuya. Pero dito yung counter to get it. <laughs> Di ba meron na tayo kanina? Thank you. Done. Done. We're done. We're done. We're done. So, what are the things we today? We're prepared. Yes, super. We're not prepared. So, una, we have to have your box or your mailer measured out para hindi tayo mag cram by sa mall. Yes. Yun. Tapos, other thing, better than na prepared yung mga forms and other addresses. Lahat ng stuff na ginawa natin on the spot, we can do it in advance. Yes. So, we don't have to stay long sa post office mismo. Yun. So, other than that, yeah, learning experience. Yes. And yeah. if you, you look at it, Parang it's really simple lang have it weighed, um, pay the postage stamp, then transmittal form. Pero all of that, parang medyo in a way, parang andali lang dahil nga kasama natin si Hannah. Pero syempre, of course, if you're going to do it on your own, expect a lot of mga bagay na akala mo alam mo na pero hindi mo pa alam when you're already on the spot. May main learning pala. <laughs> May main learning. So we've been talking na dapat baka do we seal or do we not seal. So itong case na to, may nag-request na unsealed. So bago natin i-seal, siguro tanong muna natin si ate or kuya na nasa counter, kuya, do you need the sealed or not? Bago natin i-seal para hindi na kayo mag-double packaging. Especially if important sa'yo kung gaano kaganda yung package na darating sa customer mo. Siyempre, kung nataranta ka, inopen mo, baka wala ka ng extra box and nasira na. So, if you're not sure, don't seal it yet and just seal it when you're here and na-confirm na nila ate that your package mm -hmm. is good for sealing. And to our suke na makakatanggap ng ating first ever package, international package. I'm so excited for you to have it. Hopefully, ma-offer natin itong service to more of our customers. But for now, thank you so much and hopefully, you. you like our gifts for you. Hope you like this episode, guys, and thank you! Bye! Bye. Congrats! <laughs> Our first package is out! Yeah. Okay, next, how to do it on our own. <laughs> AKA, how will Kuya Mel do it? <laughs>